Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinite of the Two. So welcome to another episode of my new account uh, series. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just continue here with my overall progress in the game. Um, and once again, this is a voiceover recording, so I can speed up the gameplay and I'm gonna speed it up so that I can just cover more stuff. Uh, so first of all, as always, I'm gonna do the daily quest. In this case, it was to do kill enemies with basic. So you can see that even if basic is not a tower I use anymore, I was forced to like use it uh, because of the fact that well, you just need to complete the quest. You can always try to reload the game again to try to have a different quest. Uh, but uh, well, yeah, just the fastest way to do it is just to try to get as many basics as possible to try to do it, uh, and uh, that was pretty much it. So my basic tower, I have some research because of the fact that at the start of the game uh, it was a tower that I that I used and that all of you guys also are forced to use. Then as you progress through the game, you unlock other towers. You can decide to like not using it uh, as much. But uh, I still got some research on, so the my, like my basic towers are not so weak. And now after completing the daily quest, uh, you can see that there is another one, damage dealt by sniper. So I decided to also complete it, uh, complete that one at the same time. Why not? Completing some extra quests, getting some more rewards for uh, for the research. And that was what I did. So yeah, pretty pretty easy. And I'm gonna, not gonna even talk about here the strategy, what I was doing, because of the fact that it's just you know trying to complete the, the daily quest. And that was it. Um, and then right here, I was trying to see on my research, you know, what I would be, uh, I would need to progress. And unfortunately, I miss like the the item I really missed a ton is the star blueprints. Uh, and those items are very very hard to get, even by you know completing quests or by completing different things. So I went back here to 5.4, and I decided to once again uh, farming out to try to get some more infure, try to get some more resources, green papers, all things that would be very much needed for uh, just continuing you know, with the uh, research. Um, and, um, and you know, my, my goal is always to try to, you know, not only um, well, farm resources, but always try to get some chests and especially get the star blueprints. You know, those were the ones that I really needed. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not very easy to find them, and um, and therefore, you know, I was trying to you know do this level to try to survive uh, as long as possible, collect some additional loot, uh, and then trying to get the blueprints. But unfortunately, it wasn't the case. And uh, now here you can see me just going through the gameplay, uh, just trying to you know survive, uh, upgrade my towers whenever needed, place the bounties, get my miners down. So getting the modifiers and start boosting the, the resources mind um, and uh, just upgrading the towers whenever needed, upgrading the miners and just trying to, to go from there. So it's very, very standard, very similar to what the farming, uh, to what I've been showing you in my other videos. So nothing too, too weird or too different here. Of course, as I'm progressing through, my towers are getting a little bit stronger, you know, I have some more passive levels, some more damage levels, or some um, more upgrade levels, so my towers can manage to do more damage, and therefore I can survive longer because of that. And especially is my flame tower that uh, I got a lot of research on. But unfortunately, now because of the minor update, I don't even think that farming custom maps is gonna be such a great idea for even early endless. Um, so, you know, maybe farming 6.3 might be best uh, even right away, uh, even if you have very little research, but uh, maybe still, you know, farming custom maps is going to be important, so that's why I, I don't think having spent some resources on flamethrower is so bad. And then here, just trying to survive as long as possible, upgrading my, my manners a little bit more, uh, and then here I was forced to start upgrading the towers, because otherwise the enemies will be able to push very forward. And that was the, that's what I did. And yeah, just speeding up even more here because like there is nothing happening here other than me upgrading the towers. And then whenever I saw enemies like pushing too forward and uh, getting too close to the base, 
as you can see like from here from these few waves then I saw the uh, I saw the bounties and I like upgraded everything max and I also upgraded a little bit more my manners and that was pretty much the end of the gameplay so in this case I wasn't able to complete any quests but uh, that's because of the fact that it worked for multi-shot that it's a tower that I have no research on so that's why I decided to just uh, leave it aside and uh, here opening some chests and unfortunately you can see here my that my research is still very much uh, slow by by the fact that these star blueprints you can see that every time for every upgrade you need these star blueprints and I just didn't have any I only had the uh, rare ones and uh, and that was it so it was very very frustrating and so what I did here I decided to see okay let's try a stage 6 I've never tried it and so with, like with this amount of research so I, I said you know why not let's give it a try let's see how it goes uh, even with the very low amount of research I have let's see how how well or how bad I can I can do and I remember this stage being very particular because of the fact that you're gonna need to actually destroy the other crystals uh, in order to be able to place more towers and to unlock like additional uh, benefits um, and therefore here I went for one flamethrower, two teslas and one sniper and especially I think teslas are pretty good here uh, because of the fact that you know when there are no enemies in range they are gonna attack these crystals and then you can see that some crystals are um, are being destroyed slowly but not steady and uh, this level is also very particular because of the fact that you only have five seconds between each wave. So if you can destroy the wave very quickly, uh, well, the enemies are going to stack up and they're going to be able to leak very quickly. So it's very easy to lose a lot of lives here. So that's why I kept upgrading these towers up to level five each. Um, and then as soon as I uh, managed to finally destroy a crystal, I uh, did place a venom, I think. Yeah, that crystal right there, you can see here, uh, I destroyed it, and so I was, I finally had another platform to place another tower. And uh, yeah, so the mechanics on this uh, level, once again, very, very peculiar. And I think I lacked here the lightning damage from Tesla, like my Teslas weren't nearly as strong enough to be able to destroy these crystals fast enough. And that's where you can see here that... Um, uh, like as soon as the enemies get the boost in HP once you approach wave 60 is started to get extremely hard to destroy them and it started pushing mo more forward more forward more forward and eventually uh, Here these flying enemies this uh, a double flying wave of these helis uh, just kill me because with one even with two Teslas I just didn't have enough damage and that was that was it I was only able to get one star so it was pretty sad but at the same time you no, know, I was pretty happy and also I was able to unlock Gauss on research so you can see me right here getting some upgrades for Gauss because I already knew that for 6.3 I would need uh, uh, sorry for 6.2 I would need some additional upgrades for um, for Gauss to be able to really exploit it and, uh, and yeah, you can see here that a lot of my research for either the general towers or for the flamethrower to be the further just depend on the star blueprints and I just didn't have uh, enough of those so uh, yeah it was it was pretty frustrating but there was nothing I could do about it and uh, and I knew that my gas was way too weak so for to try 6.2 so I tried to go into level rumble and level dev to see you know to try a gameplay there uh, unfortunately the difficulty you can see is very high it's 370 percent and uh, and at the start you cannot even use like good towers so uh, like I didn't really have much research for basics so I tried to make the path a little bit longer here but I ended up running out of coins um, and it was very very clear from right at the beginning that I wouldn't be able to like survive uh, uh, long enough so here I just decided to end the game and uh, and to try level dev uh, it w you can see that the difficulty was a little bit lower 290% and also there are a lot of different uh, platforms here, tiles, effects, so you can boost your towers. Now here I'm gonna go very quick because I lost a lot of time trying to figure out, okay, which towers to place, where to place them, and how to try to get at least one star. You can see that here there are only three quests and each quest is gonna award you a star. So if you survive until wave 100, raise one star. 
if you can do 1 million, 100 million damage total, it's another star. And then the last star is if you gain enough score. So, of course, these three things are related because of the fact that if you, the longer you survive, uh, the more likely you're gonna do more damage and the more likely also your score is gonna be higher. So, um, so here I was, I was just trying out, you know, with the towers I had some more research on to try to place them around the map, try to uh, have uh, optimal spots to, to exploit their, their damage uh, and to see, uh, you know, if I could at least get the, get these uh, quests for the score. I thought that going for some more miners, going for that would have allowed me to get maybe the score quest, so to, uh, uh, to get at least one star. Uh, because I knew that the damage dealt uh, was impossible, I just needed to survive too too long, and also the wave um, the wave quest was also not doable with the amount of research I had. So so yeah, I just uh, tried uh, tried it, but unfortunately I'm gonna just speed up because of the fact that I ended up failing getting one star. Uh, and you can see here around wave like 60, I ended up struggling so much. Against, uh, against the enemies, as always, they get the boost in their HP, and so they were able to push a lot more forward, being uh, a lot harder to, to be destroyed, and uh, yeah, just pushing more and more and more forward, and then eventually ended up losing, you can see right there, wave 64 here, 62 actually, I already lost. I got some chests that allowed me to get some more research here, upgrade price reduction, so that was nice, but that was pretty much it. And uh, therefore here I decided to you know, try level 6.2 uh, and that's why I upgraded my Gauss a little bit more. Um, and uh, yeah, this level is perfect for Gauss because of the fact that you have all these crystals in the right side that you need to destroy. Um, and Gauss is just the best tower suited for, for that. Uh, because of the fact that you can rotate it, you know, with Gauss you have a limited range and you can attack any spot in the, in the map. Uh, and, uh, and yeah. Now here, I didn't really remember which crystals would be the best ones to be destroyed. And so I remember that the right crystal was the one where you had the core. So I decided to go for that. But unfortunately, it proved to be very bad because you can see that my Gauss is not nearly, nearly doing enough damage to destroy this crystal fast enough. And also I'm consuming the resources way too quickly uh, compared to my minor mining speed. So yeah, a lot of things here that uh, uh, went wrong with my thinking, with my strategy, and so I ended up here failing miserably because yes, I was able to, after a lot of attempts and a lot of shots, I was able to destroy the crystal to have the core, but that was just it. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I, I still needed to use Gauss, you know, to destroy the other crystals to have some more platforms, but I ended up, you know, losing right away. Uh, and uh, what I did here was upgrade Gauss a little bit more and then try again the same level. But in this way, uh, in this case, I went for a different strategy. After I placed Gauss, I decided to start destroying the crystals, uh, the other crystals. You can see that the other crystals have much less HP, so they were far quicker to, to be destroyed. So I destroyed one in the bottom, one in the top, uh, then one yellow, or actually two in the top, and then like one yellow. And you can see there that I was able to place one more Venom, and of course that meant uh, a lot more damage than another um, another flamethrower. So I was able to already survive a lot longer just because of those small uh, changes. Then I attacked here and destroyed a couple of the yellow crystals, you can see with Gauss. Uh, and then I ended up losing again, but in this case I was able to get some stars. Uh, one star I think, so that was better than nothing. And here I used the couple of you know green papers and resources I got to just upgrade Gauss a little bit more. Uh, and then, guys, I have to be honest. Like at this stage, I didn't really know what to do. I didn't know if uh, you know I would. It could be good to try to get one more star to just unlock 6.3 and to give it a try. Um, but unfortunately, it just uh, like I didn't know what to do. So I decided here to start trying to collect as many trophies as possible. So whenever you, you see there in the quest a question mark, uh, that means that there is a trophy that you can obtain. So that's why I started doing here. I started uh, just going into the levels uh, whenever I didn't win the trophy and uh, you know some just farming a little bit more uh, and trying to reach the wave to get the trophy. 
trophies can give additional stats uh, regarding all towers, regarding some specific towers, regarding like general stats, uh, like coins or like miners, stuff like that. So it's not uh, like it's something that can be useful. So like I didn't really know what to do because like keep on farming 5.4 seemed to be pretty useless for the very simple reason that I just lacked the star blueprints and uh, farming 5.4 wasn't giving me the blueprints uh, as I as I as I thought. So getting those blueprints wasn't as easy as I thought at first. And so I, I decided to try to instead, you know, get the trophies, get some more quests done at the same time, and try to see if I could earn the star blueprints in that uh, in the other way. Because you know these star blueprints are the things that I really wasn't able to, to obtain, uh, and uh, and you know that was the really the thing that was holding me back in the research because a lot of my research, like I had enough resources, I had enough of the other items needed but I lacked those star blueprints and, uh, and yeah so it was very unfortunate so I decided to have this approach here trying to start collecting the trophies I start completing some additional quests um, and uh, yeah just going for you know a usual strategy just uh, using different towers depending on the enemies spawned um, and uh, you know, just going for the towers I have most research on because these towers are also going to be the most efficient ones. So as always, Flame Flower, Venom, Tesla, you know, Freezing, and then some more damage with Sniper and Minigun. And you can see that's, that was one trophy. I also completed some quests at the same time, so that was some more stuff. And now here I decided to just bring everything to level 5 in terms of Gauss. Um, and uh, and that's it. I here kept on going, trying to find more levels with trophies. And you can see, for example, here the question mark, wave 69. So I decided to go with this level and try to get another trophy. Uh, and once again, in this case, just uh, adapting, you know, to every map and trying to place towers that would be uh, would be great and would allow me to survive long enough. And at the same time, you know, placing some manuals, getting some additional resources, even if not much, but you know, it's just something more. So I'm also farming a little bit those resources. And, uh, and yeah, so just trying here, I didn't want to really complete every, every single quest. I just wanted to get the trophy. If I could complete, complete some quests at the same time, that would be of course a bonus. But it wasn't my main goal. Was, my main goal was trying to, you know, start un unlocking the trophies to get those, your know, general stats and uh, those extra benefits from my, from my, for the runs, right, for all the towers. And uh, yeah, here actually, I think I forgot that it was like I just needed to survive until wave 69. And you can see that here I kept on playing a little bit longer um, until like wave 80, something like that. And then I just ended the, the game. I also was able to complete the other two minor quests, so that was already uh, super good. And yeah, here we go. I completed, and that's that's the other trophy. And you can see here more starting coins, one more minor. So you know it's all very useful stuff. And uh, now here I think I ended up like I I was trying to see like how many res uh, researchers I wasn't able to complete just because of the star blueprints and so here I decided to just to give get more levels here passive levels for like uh, Tesla for Venom and for freezing to try to uh, to make those towers you know level up more possibly and then again here another level where uh, there was a trophy I think it was wave 71 so in, uh, just trying to survive uh, until wave 71 and then you know ending the game so as always placing some bounties to increase the income and just placing the towers adapting to the the enemies that can be spawned by the portal some extra miners here to collect some additional resources and that was that was pretty much it So yeah, unfortunately here I'm quite lost in terms of I, I don't really know how to progress correctly through the game because of the fact that I don't really know how to get those star blueprints. If you guys know any faster way to to get them other than like completing quests and uh, just you know playing uh, the levels uh, many times, 
uh, no, I would be very much appreciated because of the fact that I don't really know how to earn them. I don't know how to, if there is a level that's going to drop them more efficiently or if there is a way to farm them more efficiently. So yeah, that's the only like bad thing. Um, and yeah, here I got another trophy and here I decided to just give some more upgrades to uh, to flamethrower. But uh, yeah, I think that was it because this is already the replay of the gameplay. So yeah, that was what I showed in my run. I hope you enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.